Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, released a statement addressed to the Ambassador of Lebanon in Bahrain, Milad Hanan Amour, following a statement by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Lebanese community in Bahrain, in which His Majesty issued directives to offer humanitarian assistance to Lebanon. His Highness addressed his delight for conveying a message from the Lebanese community to His Majesty the King, following the assistance that Bahrain has offered for to Lebanon as it experiences these difficult times. His Highness said that His Majesty the King expresses pride in the deep-rooted bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields and added that His Majesty said that offering assistance to Lebanon is both a fraternal and as well as a humanitarian duty. He concluded by stating by saying that His Majesty affirmed his gratitude and appreciation for the sent sentiments that the Lebanese community has expressed and for the efforts that have been made to deepen the bilateral ties. His Majesty prayed to God for the deceased to rest in peace, a speedy recovery for the injured, and for Lebanon to be safe from any harm. The Kingdom of Bahrain expresses its condemnation of the Turkish military act of aggregation against Iraq and affirms its solidarity with it against that all threatens its security and territorial integrity, stressing that this attack is a flagrant violation of the sovereignty of Iraq and the principles of good neighborliness and a contravention of international charters and laws. During a telephone call held with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iraq, Dr. Fahad Hussain, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif al Rashid al Zayani, expressed deep condolences on behalf of Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the government and the people of Bahrain for the Iraqi military martyrs who died as a result of this Turkish military attack. Dr. Fahad Hussain expressed Iraq's pride in the genuine fraternal stances of the Kingdom of Bahrain towards Iraq against any violation affecting the security and stability of Arab countries. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, said that eligible citizens will receive social assistance funds by the middle of August. The total amount to be transferred is around 17 million Bahraini dinars. It includes social insurance, monetary assistance for the disabled and housing allowance, which will be processed by the Ministry of Housing as part of the co coordinated efforts of the government. The minister praised the government's coordinated efforts, which are in line with the cabinet's directives in January 2020. He affirmed that the step is intended to offer the best possible form of support for citizens and that the ministry has put its electronic services into effect since March in an effort to protect the well-being of the citizens in light of the broader efforts to contain the pandemic. He concluded that the ministry may be reached through the e-government website or through the National Contact Center. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,262 with 332 new recoveries, 460 registered new cases and two deaths. The deceased are a 57-year-old citizen and a 57-year-old expatriate. The Ministry of Health expresses its condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.